Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. Welcome to the Class Adder tutorial series. In use case four, we are playing with Z index. We have a class called up, and the up class is going to make the chicken come first or the egg come first. And you can see as I click on each one, we have larger text and we have a larger Z index. So egg now has a larger Z index, chicken now has a larger Z index. This is not possible with Webflow interactions. We're going to look at how this works with Class Adder. Great. On click of the chicken container, we're going to add a class of up to the chicken container. We're also going to remove that same class of up from the egg container. And we're doing the exact opposite on the other side. When we click on the egg container, we're adding up to the egg container and we are removing that same up class from the chicken container. So this example is showing the same class being applied to chicken and egg, chicken or egg based on what you've clicked on. So up, class up, class up, class up, class up. It's going back and forth on adding and removing this class. Let's go and see how this works. All right, the first thing I'll do is show you what this up class does in designer. Let's go up to our egg container. Our egg container has an add-on class of up. Nice. Up is going to increase the Z index. So we have no Z index on the egg container. And when I go apply this up, it's going to increase the size of the text and increase the Z index. We do not want up to be applied to both at the same time. So let's see what happens when I apply up to also the chicken container. That's not what we're supposed to have. Both texts are large. The egg is in the back and we are not gonna be able to get it to the front. We need to make sure we are adding up and removing up from the other one at the same time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to remove and add, remove and add. Cool, all right, let's go do this. We're going to follow these steps inside Class Adder to make this work. On click of our chicken container, we're going to add the class up to the chicken container. So let's go into our class adder. We're going to make this our trigger and on click, we're going to create a new pair. And the target class will be the chicken container itself and the class to add will be up. Great, so we click it, up is added, we're good we also have to remove it from the egg. So let's go do that. We will add a new pair. Adding a new pair will add another action item within your trigger. It will not create a whole new trigger. We will do that when we get to the egg though. But first, we're on the chicken, we have a new pair, and the target class is now going to be the egg container. Let's do egg container. We're going to remove the class up. And let's just make sure we have our classes right here. We have our chicken container adding up to chicken and we're gonna remove up from the egg. Remove up from the egg. Perfect, that's what we want. Okay, and now let's go into a brand new trigger. We need a whole other trigger here to do our click of the egg. So now let's go back to the class adder and we will copy this same class into our trigger. We'll create a new pair, and we know we need a second pair here. It's gonna be the same thing as this, flipped. So let's go and first add our class to our egg container, and we'll add the up class. And we need our chicken container. Let's go up and get the chicken. And here inside chicken, we're going to remove our up class. Nice, there we go, that's it, this was everything. That was pretty easy. Um, yeah, I, I like this one, this is great. So let's go and show these comments. We're going to copy this JavaScript and I'm going to paste it right in this embed to make sure that this is working and this is the one that we want. Okay, let's go and save this code. We are going to publish 
And when we publish, we should have the same exact functionality on our live example. We have the chicken. We're going to go egg and chicken and egg and chicken and egg. There we go. We are changing, we are changing Z index with classes, something not possible with Webflow interactions. We are pretty excited about this one. Which one came first, the chicken or the egg? Doesn't matter because this is awesome. Enjoy. If you have questions, go to sweetjs.io. We are here to help. Enjoy. That's effing sweet.